we think it's a real missed opportunity. It's another half measure. And without school closures as part of it, it's unlikely to have the, the effect that the Prime Minister wants. We've been looking at data from the Office for National Statistics. So this is their uh, regular survey. It's not based on people turning up because they've got symptoms. It's a survey that goes out. And they, the figures from that show just huge increases, particularly amongst secondary pupils. From year seven to year 11, that's the main years of secondary school, those figures suggest that the, the incidence of the virus has gone up 50 times since schools reopened, uh, far more than any other demographic. And we think, and this increases in primary as well. And um, without the government taking note of that, doing something about it, it's really going to undermine the effectiveness of a lockdown and a half-hearted lockdown just leads to more lockdowns later on. So we think it's foolish. We think that schools should be included in the lockdown. And during that period, that four weeks, that government should be doing everything it can to improve, test, track, trace and isolate. And also planning with us and planning with the sector for secondary schools, sixth form colleges at least, to be on rotor operation. Children learning every lesson but in school half the time and at home half the time. Teachers and support staff in school all the time teaching, but sometimes teaching physically and other times teaching remotely. And um, we think that might, uh, Sage looked at that in September and thought that would have an effect as big as closing the whole of hospitality. Um, we think that looking at the secondary school figures in particular, SAGE might now think that effect was even bigger than that. So we think that's something that really should be looked at.